Okay, I'm fed up with this memo. I'm gonna close it out. You'll hear from me again later when I got something else to say. I.e., just scroll down, you douche. It's all right there already. Because of time travel. I know, right? Anyway, just to reiterate, full steam ahead. Leader equals me forever, obviously. Peace the fuck out, D-bags. I'd like to add to this useless memorandum that I still don't recognize the validity of your leadership. Sweet mother of grubs, oozing vestige, oh, third oral sphincter. How can you people be so stupid? It may be true that we are all playing in the same session, but I see no reason to disband the former power structure, especially if it means instituting a tactical midget with a short fuse, a foul mouth, and a paralyzing insecurity over the color of his blood. That's all I have to say. Oh, I have a short fuse? That's very funny. You can almost hear me laugh over the sound of the robot that you're probably beating to death. Or doing worse, too. Hey, you do kiss your robots, right? Um, might as well clear the air as long as we're broadcasting this across the entire space-time continuum. Not usually. <laughs> the funny thing is, in the future, everyone will recognize me as the undisputed leader. Even you, you, will be standing on the tippy toes of your idiotic metal shoes, taking delicate perches of my nubby horns and hoisting yourself over my head to put your squattiest tough guy smooch upon my twitching spine lump. It will be tender and deferential, like a pauper kissing a noble's ring. Just scroll down, read the logs. Nowhere have I seen evidence of this. Most of this is you, from various points in time, roving about nonsense and arguing with yourself. Do you realize that here in the future this bulletin has come to be regarded as something of a joke? A lengthy piece of comedy often quoted amongst ourselves in private moments of levity. It seems I'm the only one to inform you of this up front, which is likely why you persist with the ingratiating charade against better judgment. You're getting off on this, aren't you? What do you mean? This excites you. Being the tough guy and pretending like you're putting the awesome leader in his place. You're probably working up a good sweat. I hope you alchemized a bunch of spare towels. Hey, why don't you add them with your spongy brain with extra exorbency? How do you know about my perspiration problem? I mean, aside from reading about it in this memo... Wait. Fudgicles.